What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Drama alert, Jordan B is back. Uh, Carly Schmullet, Queen Pop, op, whatever, girl. Let's get into it. <laughs> he had a whole line up for this. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'ma sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Let me see Monday. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. What are you doing? All right y'all, we made it through another week. Give yourself a pat on the back and a round of applause because baby, like I tell you all the time, it is not easy. Child, these folks out here doing the unbelievable. They kidnapping themselves and baby, I tell you that is crazy. So look, before we get into Kidnapping yourself is crazy. This, um, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Tay. Hey, bitch. Tay, thank you so much for having my post notifications on, girl. That means so much to me. I greatly appreciate that. You was the first to comment on my Twitter post, and honey, that is some real shit. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being active. Thank you for supporting me, and thank you for being here. All right. Hey, bitch. Now let's go on and get to y'all's favorite part because the bitch is running behind. And that okay. is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea. Because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Arthur Grande and Dawson Gomez. Now, child, let me tell you something. After two years of marriage, they have already separated. Now, if that ain't something, what? that is something. Because if I'm not mistaken, did they just get together? Like, well, well girl, to be honest, they only did it for like well, a couple of months or something and then got married. Oh. Child, word on the curb is ever since Matt Shane never been right. I don't know. I ain't judging nobody. It ain't none of my business. But anyway, in January, she was seen with her ring off. Now, she went on to the media, and she told them she takes her ring off to get clean. So they wonder why is everybody getting all discombobulated about her not having that ring on. Well, girl, it looks as though Miss Thang ain't married to this man no more. Taking it off to get it clean is crazy. That's what they saying. But everybody saying they're not gonna believe him until she said her mouth is visa and his mouth. But girl, I'm gonna go off what we know, and what we know is she ain't wearing that ring, and they ain't together. Now the gag is they remain friends and all that bullshit. But we all know people just say that so there won't be no attacking of each other. Bitch, them motherfuckers ain't friends because they say they try to reconcile everything and make everything work. And if they did all that and they didn't make it work as a relationship, then how the hell you think they still motherfucking friends? Miss me with that friend shit. Uh, okay. If I was married to you and shit didn't work out. I'm not trying to be your motherfucking friend. Maybe they were better off friends. Nah, bitch. Maybe we better off not talking nah, about some people, not your fucking ring. Nah, girl. fuck that. Some people can be better as friends, though. Oh, no. Y'all be trying to say she can't keep a man, but what I see is her replacing a man that no longer serves her. Now, see, y'all be out here dealing and 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 dealing with niggas who y'all even like no more, but you stay with them and you deal with it. But she's like, you know what? Thank you, Nick. And if y'all really want to be real about the situation... She was losing weight. Miss Thane was looking little. So I don't know what the fuck going on in that household. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in that household, child. She she was out there talking about seven rings, but make it eight holes. <laughs> what did she say on her phone? Yeah, me and baby daddy were way better as friends, okay? I'm only gonna do it once real bad, gonna make that shit. Aisha and Naima fought again? Why? Last, she tried to tell y'all. But child, her separation didn't even last long. This woman is allegedly already talking to somebody. His name is what, uh, Ethan. Ain't he the man that played SpongeBob on Broadway? These bitches dating SpongeBob. How do you go from Big Sean and Matt Miller to, um, Dalton and Ethan? We know the fuck what. These two over there starving each other. They, you know what? <laughs> child, celebrities. They kill me. Y'all want to be out here talking about Laura Harvey shit. Y'all need to be. Y'all, can we 86 Ariana Grande? I don't care. Can y'all tell? Please. Not Jazz and Chris and I got a uh, messy Monday. Now, what we want y'all to do is check the hell up. We tired <laughs> of it. And Crystal, where your hands at? Can we get a fighting video of Crystal somewhere? Please. All she do is this. 
but we don't ever see none of this. At this point, shut it up or put it up. Now, we know Jazz ain't all that. We know Jazz love to talk a lot of shit because she got a temper problem. We ain't never seen Jazz do shit. But, bitch, if you ain't going to bust her in her mouth and let us see it, shut the fuck Busting in her mouth, let her, letting us see it is crazy. So child, they done broke up. How be, what, what number this done made? They done broke up again. Okay. She gonna go on her social media and say, I'm not posting my boo ever again. Y'all had a time with the last one. And Jazz goes and says, don't ever attach my name to a dog ass hoe. And I'm like, ooh, that's some fighting words. Nah, dog ass hoe is crazy. Bristol ain't gonna do it, but she always wanna talk like she on bed and west. But... Hey, who am I? Then she says, laugh my ass off. How you gonna be mad for trying to put bodies on me that ain't mine? So I'm guessing something got back to Jazz that said, you know, Chris out here doing any, mini money, I'm fucking a hoe. So I don't know, honey. She goes on to say, we can do this internet jazz and whoop, whoop, whoop. So then people come up her and say, girl, you gotta go back to men because ain't no stud got motion like jazz. And I'm like, bitch, that's a motherfucking life. I know a lot of other, um, Stud, I hear who poppin' bitch. It's a lot of studs. Why that watch. keep happening? It's a lot of studs that got some money out here. Jazz. But, but Jazz got a bag. Anyway, she <laughs> said, well, girl, what makes you think I want another stud? She said, I want me the best man. The girl, we already knew that. We told you you weren't gay. You was the one that was so focused fully on trying to make Jazz a man. You always told her she want our money. She want this and this and that. And I'm just like, girl, because she's not a man, girl. Okay. But if I don't That's understand, true. haven't they done this so many times before? Then they got so mad at each other, and then they get back together. You can't keep expecting us to have your back, and you'll keep running back. So they continue to tell her, girl, we tried to warn you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You stay. I'm so not here for women trying to make studs, men. Because no matter what the fuck y'all think, I love my vagina. You know, it was probably one of the best creations I ever received in my life. Do you understand me? First of all, if I was born with a little meat, I would be depressed in life. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, the meat would make me. You know, that's why these men have egos and they gotta attach straps as in D-I-L does to themselves because they got little meats. I don't have that problem. All I gotta make sure is my pH is on point. She stay ready. All right. Listen, I would never wanna be a man, but women clothes. Don't want to wear them either. Too tight. Don't like too tight clothes. Don't like tight clothes at all. Okay. Ciao. Anyway. This long, she said, next time throw a rock at me. Bitch, nah, this ain't a new camera, bro. That's Girl, good. It's just the computer us. then. Bitch, you attack us every time. So, I mean, what? Honey South. Honey South. Take your phone. The hell you want us to do? <laughs> Bitch, it's on you. And she's talking about all them ran through holes can have you and whoop, 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 and everybody in that house is corny. And I'm just like, girl, when well, you was in the house, so child, don't y'all talk about the house now. And I don't know, I just don't know. But what made me kick you when she said, and fuck flow too. <laughs> and I thought, I didn't see that. What the hell flow do? <laughs> she was probably with flow talking to some, you know, some girls or whatever. What? Everything. I don't know, y'all. She just kept on talking, 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 talking. Y'all know I hate all that talking. Either you gonna get down to business, or you gonna shut the fuck up. So this, the one that really stuck out to me like a sore thumb was this one right here. When she said, "Whoever keep coming at you, telling me, telling you my business, I'ma get them too." So apparently, was you out here doing shit? Who done went and told Jazz some shit and Jazz believed in the Jazz? If this is your girlfriend, so to always be your girlfriend until you have proof. I I'm said he the one who kicked down the door. Uh, sit here and say Jazz is squeaky. Yeah, that's a problem. Because Jazz has a temper and she got a problem. I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't remember the shit that she went through when she was with Tay. So, girl, uh, they both got issues. Whatever the case may be, it is and let it be. Because Jazz is toxic too. Y'all sit here and try to act like it's all Crystal just because Crystal was going at Tay. Y'all know the fuck Jazz give. All right, Jazz, if you ain't gonna get out in this field, girl, gonna stand across that street and not go around and fight, then you can shut the hell up too. Well, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep she probably stood across the street because Flo wasn't about to get her in no indicted situation to where she losing everything she got. Flo was the one who did it. If Crystal decided to press charges on Flo, Flo ass would have been g giving her some money. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. And if he was kicking the door down because of um, that girl, like I don't understand what she got to do with anything. But anyway, I'm thinking somebody done robbed, you know what I'm saying, or, or broke into place like, like it was really a problem 
And it's Flo kicking down the door. Yeah, that would have been a problem for me too. Because, bro, you can't, ain't no way in hell you that mad you kick down your nigga's girl's door. That's crazy. Next for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Superstar Pride. Now, for those who don't know, he's a rapper from Mississippi that had a song that went viral on TikTok called Pain Pictures. Absolutely not. It happened, but something that night made him go and kill this man. A rapper from Panola County is behind bars charged with murder. WRG's Mike Siriani spoke with the victim's grandmother who witnessed that shooting. He was a real soft-hearted person. He did it, whatever he could to help anybody. He was a really he nice person. He shot a barber? Mary Ann Strong is the grandmother of 40-year-old Marcus Wheatley, gunned down Wednesday behind his mobile home where he was a barber. Strong says she saw Kadarius Pride, a.k.a. Superstar Pride, the man charged with Wheatley's death, enter the mobile home, heard loud voices, and saw an armed Pride chase her grandson out of the mobile home. And the young man was following him, shooting at him, and he finally shot him down. Strong ran to this field, and she watched in horror as Pride continued to fire at her grandson. He fell here. He shot about three times after he fell. And he walked over to me, and he pointed the gun at me. What? Seen her too? And asked me if I was going to tell it. She says she had no idea what Pride meant, but she says he wasn't finished. And he came back out here and fired a last shot Damn. in his head. Like I say, that is Damn! That's crazy! Oh my God, that's crazy. There's power in the tongue. Whatever you speak, so shall it be. Now he said this. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killings. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in their feelings. Now somebody should have been talking to him because they let him be quiet too long because he went and showed up, did it. What now for you to run up in that house, chase this man, shoot him, then talk to the grandma and say, are you going to tell? Go back, shoot him again and leave? Oh baby, it's something going on. Nah. Man, so you go and say Bruh. this. And mom, Bruh. don't worry. You raised a gangster. I'm a survivor. She raised a gangster, but daddy said. Feel just something that's got to be looked into and um, to see what, you know, what all transpired. It looks like daddy needed to go and talk to mama because mama the one that raised the gangster. What you know, the what? I don't understand hell? what is going on. I, I just, I don't get it. What did he say? Uh-uh. -uh. Wait, 2 a.m. The night's still young. You live by the gun. You die by the gun. What yeah. the <laughs> fuck? Well, he gonna take the red in the comments saying, when does shit like this ever be funny? Y'all not from the street. Well, baby, we don't want to be from the street. I don't want to be from. Just like Boosie, like mad as hell. Cause Kodak doing a song with the, um, six nine, which I get it. Don't nobody want to be around no snitch, but Boosie, you ain't around the snitch. But not only that, like, who? Wants to be gangster. But why? If shit like this go on in the street, Hell like, no. and gun me down in my grandmama house in front of my grandmama. Shit. Go back to grandma and say, you going to tell? Obviously, I'm sure she said no. And then you go back and shoot him again in the head? No. Well, most of it, only thing that comes from the streets is death, dishonor, unloyalty, hate, stress, depression, drug. I don't want to be from the street. I don't want none of that street I don't want to be from the street. You know, see, street, street pisses me off. Yeah, fuck the street. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Okay? That's great. Next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have 
Joy B. Now this isn't messy. I just wanted to give her her props because you know she was always on Messy Monday. We was always talking about her situation. So we could talk about her situations. We could talk about her overcome. So Joy B came to social media and she made this statement. She said, I really beat the odds. Just last year around this time, I was counted against, talked about, going through abuse, and more shit than a little bit. Now I'm in school, about to graduate, at peace, raising my son, being the best version of me that I can be. 2023 has been great to me so far. It be the little things. Now, I'm just going to say what everybody's been thinking. We tried to tell you this. We tried to tell you to focus on you. We tried to tell you to do you. We tried to tell you to leave him alone. We tried to tell you you deserve better. We tried to tell you it was you. It's just crazy sometimes. A nigga be the thing holding you back. But when the girls is trying to tell you it's a nigga holding you back, you want to fuss with the girl, fight the girls. You try to fight 67,000 people. And then <laughs> look at you now. None of the nigga. I'm just glad you found you. But hey, you've been gone for a long time. There's power in shutting up. <laughs> okay. That's a fact. If it, if it, He's so shady. Hold on, y'all, because I got to pee. Earlier, drink a lot of water. It about me. Shout out to Jordan B. Next okay. K. All right, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First one, okay? We have Scrappy and Mama D versus Ben. Now, baby, this is a whole lot of whole lot because this is a whole bunch of back and forth and bicker and ain't nothing getting done. Now, mind you, we talked about how Bambi came on here and Bambi told everybody how Scrappy wasn't paying rent or whatever the case may be, and he was late and whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. I don't know nothing about the gas bill, life bill. Right, right. No, nothing. I handle, I manage our household. And he keeps not paying his rent, so because he's been behind. She said manage our household. She didn't say... Um, she was paying for everything in the household. Fine, on his half of the rent, I gotta find somewhere else to live. I'm sorry, boo. Scrap has been on his own time. He does things when he wants to, when he feel like it. And so I'll make my payment and I'm thinking everything is good. And then weeks later, the landlord, they're like, hey, like we- This- uh, We only got partial payment for this month. So now, here I am, pulling it together for my kids, trying to find us another space to live in. Now she said what she said, and what she said was right. So Scrappy come back, and he just basically validates what she said. Okay. I'm gonna show you some There's some shit going out right now, like, you no, know what I'm saying? No, not that, the receipts. See, you can be late, but if you pay, you still pay. Let's go down the list. Uh -huh. We want to show history. Okay. Month after month. What you see? That mean it was late, so I paid yeah. it twice. Uh, this yeah. is going back. It's and that's the whole thing. That's the whole that's thing. The band in rent. This the hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not a good thing. <laughs> hold on. This is it. This is both of ours, cause I had to pay for both of ours. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, this is every month. Now we're going into a whole nother year. Damn. We're going into a whole nother year. Right. Every month. I had to pay both of ours. So listen. So he proven that he had to pay both of their rent a lot. At the end of the day. Numbers don't lie. Hey, men and men women do lie. Lemon li men lie. Hey, even kids women lie. lie. Numbers don't. Now, if I this nigga said and even kids. Super am I dumb? I heard him say he was late on the rent and he had to come back and pay the rent. That's what she said. Because he's been. Uh, this might get a copyright. If you pay, you still pay. pay it late, you paid it late. He, he, it ain't about him paying it late. He, what he's trying to tell you is he don't give a damn that he paid it late. It got paid. But don't skip over the fact that he say he done paid for her ass several. It sound like a lot of times. And she had to take up his slack. And then he want to go back and say, oh, I had to take up some slack for her too. Yeah, you did. Because guess what? All the times I paid for you, I had to go dig in some of my other money that I was not expected to have to dig in. So yeah, maybe you had to take up her slack because you went into her other money. But then you got the people on the curb talking about some, oh, well, baby, the hush because she was laughing it up when Erica was going through with this situation. But baby sat there and told y'all, I don't want no pity. I wasn't paying attention that she was in the hot tub with all these men. And when Rashida took up for him, I'm like, Rashida, you about a few minutes. If Kirk had looked the other way, you might have been got too, girl. Uh -uh. 
Okay? Come on now. We know how Kirk can be. So, you know, don't be all on Bambi's side because you're going to want... Okay now. All right uh -oh, now. Don't get what? a taste, taste of that when somebody gets you again with your man. I'm telling you, you got to be careful. You can't take up for lying women. Because you... He, he was... Love and hip-hop don't pay good, for It's a few inches. Like Jersey Shore, them niggas probably getting a million dollars a episode. Let's look up. Because, hell, I forgot, nigga. Love and hip-hop was still on. How much does Lil Scrappy get paid per episode? I'm sure that's not his only money. Okay. <laughs> you know, life is funny. And so are people. Uh let me let me show y'all. He gets paid eleven thousand dollars a episode. And to some of y'all that might be a lot. I just want you to know that that ain't shit. Because when you go to how much does Holly D make per episode? That didn't show up. Oh, here it is. No worries. It's coming faster than you know. Not, bitch, where is that? It was just right there. Oh, here it is. Snooki, Polly D, and Mike are bringing the most at $150,000 per episode. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Hell nah. That's so fucking disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. Oh my God. I would be pissed. Well, anyhow. That's what they're dealing with. From being God is goddamn self. You remember that? Now tell me a lie. Tell me I'm lying. Okay? It's just that and Benzino hit it that night. Mm -hmm. And then, Polly D and them ain't fighting no more. They shit is like family time. Polly D never fought, by the way. But, $150,000. Yeah. And Scrappy and them on there fighting and tearing down their whole life for 11 k a month. I mean, an a, episode. I'm not lying. So, honey, uh, Bambi responds to Mama D from last week when she was talking about her in the tub, and this is what Bambi had to say. And we're gonna scroll down <laughs> to, to the part that, you know, tickled me pink. In over 10 years, nobody had seen me with another person than the person I was married to. So, <laughs> so I would never let another bitch with a loose tooth. <laughs> they may make more, friend. I ain't saying that's accurate, but he still ain't making $150,000. You won't be able to show me that on no love and hip hop. <laughs> so I would never let another bitch with loose teeth on the internet make me feel bad. This weird ass lady is obsessed with me. Where was his energy with my mama? <laughs> when she was beating the brakes off your ass. Pure example of bitch getting her ass beat and, she, and still won't shut up. That, that reminds me of Jordan. Huh? <laughs> we gonna scroll down a little bit. I'ma let the blog grab this up since you need the attention. But the next time that two fall out, wait, what? She was beating the brakes off your ass. Pure example of bitch getting her ass beat and, she, and still won't shut up. That that reminds me of a little bit. I'ma let the blog grab this up since you need the attention. But the next time that two fall out, roll it up and, and smoke it. <laughs> holiday, holiday heart. Now I'm like, baby, baby you been holding that. Bambi know how to uh know how to cut ass a little bit. For the right time, the baby been quiet for ten years. She been quiet. 
She be dealing with shit and baby ain't said nothing out of respect of her husband's mother. But baby threw this out <laughs> at the right time. Now, <laughs> now as she said it, here come Mama D, and this is what she had to say. 100 pounds overweight and got golf ball sized dimples in their legs. They can do what the f they want. But bitch, you got on live TV and live on for cry. I wonder when she was crying last night. I'm like, damn, is the bitch thinking about her dead grandmama or something? Girl, please. F you, f your mama. Damn, Mama D. All that. And I mean that. I ain't finna spell that. Because your mama got her face all scratched up. You forgot to tell that. F you, baby. When a bitch gets you, you know you gotta go way below the belt it ain't even cute to say are you thinking about your dead grandma you didn't win with that that ain't cute you and the hole you come out of and ever seen it to this man bad bad see that bitch. go get your mouth fixed better yet pick your mama face off the got off her goddamn chest and take them golf ball sized dimples out her legs since your mama's so big and bad anytime somebody gonna throw that shit that was five years. I was wondering who had golf ball dimples. I'm like, baby's not even fat. <laughs> okay. Ago, that her mama didn't win no fight. We both were fighting. Her mama face got fucked up because I made sure I stuck all my nails in that face. And then y'all. Sticking nails in the face is crazy. You, then I'm going to tell everything now. The bitch came and lived with me and talked about me like a dog for three months. What people. You let her live with you? come and stay with you right give you three hundred dollars worth of rent because the bitch was living in la living for pillar to post and guess what bambi know that and her family know i ain't lying that no one she cc could stay nowhere Do you, you hear me she kept getting put out because she full of shit. her own family was putting her out and if it wasn't for that high rise that she, she live in now she'll be on the street because Bambi ain't finna let her come live with her because she too messy so now I'm responding, Bambi. Don't f***ing come for me because I know the government shit that you don't did. Don't oh, make me make a phone call to the social oh, security Lord. office on your mama, bitch. Okay? Not nice, snitch. Because I'll let your ass have it. Yo, this is a prime example of why you cannot tell people your real business. I'm so glad we stopped that shit because we used to do that shit. Uh-uh, keep that shit between me and you. Like, nigga, when you doing something, first of all, when you doing something illegal, don't tell nobody. Okay, let's just be clear. But certain things, y'all, you just can't tell folk because they are, if, it, if you embarrassed by it, don't tell nobody because they're going to throw it up in your face every time. I will call and the police will be at your door before it get dark. That's crazy. Oh, and that's don't crazy. Don't forget, you mother. You motherfucker had them kids for free. Told goddamn Medicare that you didn't have a job. Don't come for Mama D. I'm going to tell you. You got to shut up. Get back. Get back. Get back. Because you got a paper trail, boo. And you've been working for uh, VH1, loving hip hop for a minute. Why did you not have no money to pay for labor and delivery, bitch? Don't come for me. And you lied. You still lied on federal paper. Wait, work. why the hell uh, little Scrappy ain't had the money for that? Okay. You don't run a store. People sit and buy stuff from you and they don't get it. They don't get their money back and you don't answer the phone. It's giving all oh, them you, ain't got no money except Kirk and Rashida. Now Kirk and Rashida gonna make a coin. You and your mama ain't shit. Fuck you and fuck the hole you come out of. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finna get out because I'm real, real mad right now. Yeah, you ride the right game on Scrappy. But he had, he came out that nod he was in. Oh, he woke up out that nod. Oh, where was they at? Where? This ain't it. I'm talking about those glasses up there where the liquor is. Okay. And I'm glad my son got the f away from this poison. Now run everybody and tell that. Now I'm just <laughs> over here like, now mama D. <laughs> Baby you got that, money that man, so she got a little boutique. That guy in the car accident, shouldn't you be somewhere at the chiropractor? But you in this house pacing around talking about this situation. 
The word on the curb is the people think Mama D got a little crush on her son Scrappy because she has been obsessed with him since season one. Like they say on the curb, she has run every woman away that he's been dealing with but didn't want to turn around and play the victim. Now like they said, Bambi has made some choices and some bad decisions and things like that, but Bambi has grown from her shit. But Scrappy is still doing Scrappy and still allowing his mama to make the decisions in his relationship. Pan, y'all, like I've been... 20 before right so pan bills late was a once a part of my life but pan bills late today why you gotta pay him anyway what is the point in running out of gas when you know you was gonna have to get gas anyway just get a full tank you got it you need gas i hate old stop for ten dollars five dollars fifteen dollar ass nigga at the gas station we don't need to stop again. I'm going into Atlanta. I need a full tank. Girl. And that's going to always keep him where he is. But when I was 20, fuck all them bills. Alone, bitter, and upset like the mom. Now, I'm just saying what the girls are saying on the curb. So don't get mad at me. And then here comes Scrappy talking about something. I have to live by my own call because people have to switch when it's convenient. Or oh, engine oil, Armand. Nigga <laughs> Sam. Yeah, I seen the light, but shit, you know, it is what it is. No, it's not is what it is. You fucking blow that engine in a Corvette? Oh, God. Hell no. All I know Hell is no. as long as I'm solid, everything gonna be good. So he goes on, he says, move in solid and get the work done. Yeah, nigga, you moving in silence because your mama doing all the talking. When you gonna stand up and tell her to hush and you control your own situations? That's what we want to know. Your mama just talking, 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 talking. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you in there gonna move in silence. Well, I ain't gonna say that a lot of people mad at Bambi, but Scrappy is also the problem too, because if you look at it, this is the same behavior and stuff that's been going on since Erica, Johnny, Shay, Bambi. Like, it's just been, it's been the same. So if you ask me, there is no innocent party, but there's definitely a root, and that root come from Scrappy and his mom. But hey, don't get mad at me, I'm just saying what's on the word of the curve. Don't shoot the message, just shoot the folk. Anyway, but let's just keep it real, girl. Miss Bambi, you took Erica's problems. A lot of women like to sit here and think because they who they are, they can change a man. Well, baby, you didn't change them, okay? Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay? Next one, Duck we have Auntie Finesse two times. Uh -huh. Now, child, mama is always in the drama. Auntie Finesse is crazy. Always in the news about something besides that music. We need to get back in the blogs about your music. So the Houston police issued a warrant for Finesse two times for allegedly stealing a rental car. Now, I'm like, how you got all this money and you allegedly stealing a rental car? That means either you didn't pay... Uh, child, something, but... I don't think anyway, he stole that damn and, uh, rental car. Dodging it, and this is what he said. Don't get a bond and don't go, get a warrant and don't go to jail. <laughs> hey, hey, you ain't never seen no get a bond and don't go to jail. Get a warrant and don't go to jail. Shout out to the lawyer, man. So he really did do that. Oh, you will. I ain't going to put your name out there, man. In the beginning, you hear me? What? Back road, right? Now, a little birdie told me that that's called an arrest bun. And all you gotta do is go to the bail bun when you find out. So when they are issued the arrest, he just went <laughs> to the A seven head is crazy. Whatever, and it was an arrest bun. And that's probably why when he was talking so much, he kept saying bun and not warrant. So, I don't know, they try, I don't know, hey. He out here acting like he was on America's Most Wanted or something, baby, when all it was for a little rent a car. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Everybody yeah, he could have just paid for The hood and so street so bad. Ain't he like 50? <laughs> Your bones ain't tired, you ain't aching yet. Sit down somewhere. You just be, just be trying to prove everything. Proving the dick, proving the bun, proving this, proving that. Proving a dick is the worst thing that he's ever done on this internet. Watching him get pleasured was disgusting. <laughs> Nigga was... It, <laughs> it's disgusting. Just, hey, shit. You can tell he looked like his mama, but... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> anyway, or his aunt, there, or his aunt Deborah or some shit. Get into it again with the police. This shit crazy, it never fell. Mm. 
Trouble on, always find me. Go, trouble I wish find the world you. would give give a man a break. I never seen an artist talk about. And you see about. in the post, he said, "Man, it never fails. Oh, trouble man. always finds me. I wish y'all would give me a break." I've never seen an artist this talk about and harassed in life. And I'm like, um, excuse me, sir, booty. <laughs> Calm down, baby. Okay. Maybe, um, watch the company that you keep, and if you shut up sometimes, then maybe they won't fuck with you. Somebody on the street said, "Damn, this stud record and." <laughs> This stud record everything. Girl, put your phone down. She Come do. Not she do. He do look like a damn 45-year-old stud with a haircut. They dropped the warrant or whatever about the felony charges. This look is at all that jewelry. I think niggas be getting like bonuses that's, I don't know. Don't have me lying. Let's just say a million dollars. And they be like, bet. I'm about to go spend 300000 on jewelry. Well, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> that I'm just like, I ain't never seen somebody. Just like, you never had a million. You wouldn't know, bro. I'm going to make sure I get a chain. One. You can get a good one for $25,000. <laughs> I don't need 300000 worth of jewelry right now. Let me make some more money. <laughs> Look for their name, child. So he finessed them two times. All right. Well. He paid the rent a bill or he turned it in. <laughs> but no, seriously. They probably just wanted to find a reason to search him. I don't know. It is what it is. But anyway, if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's keep in this case. Next one, okay? We have... Uh, now, child, y'all may not know uh. who they are. These are some social media influencers that be on that app called Big O. Now, what they do is uh, she does crazy things with this girl named Shelly Michelle, whatever her name is. Stop playing with me, then. Stop playing with me. 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 Damn, I haven't even seen that. I don't watch this and I ain't trying to get yellow for this shit either. Stop touching the phone. All right. Stop beat your fat ass bacon. Explain to them what you're doing. Clean it up, P. Look, we look up to the camera. We can't understand what you're saying. Clean it up, P. Who peed on himself? Me. Let us see your pants. No. When I went back to sleep, and when I went back to sleep, I peed on myself. They make her eat dog food. They uh put her on a leash. It's just dog shit. Not food. Dog shit. It's things that you would not think a human being would ever allow someone to do with them. Like they torture her. They beat her. Uh, allegedly, all this stuff. Because Shelly says that they're not doing this. They're not beating her or anything like that. But when you look at the video, somebody done black this woman. I, I didn't even realize her eyes were black. And, and I want somebody to screen record this. Literally, screen record them kicking my fucking door down. Screen record oh, them kicking wow. my door in. Screen record Yo, them kicking my door in. Crazy, man. And I'm still sitting here getting my hair done. What's up, guys? Can you come What's on up? Here, no. What? For what? No. We're not talking about it. Come here. No. No, I'm telling you to come out here. Bro, you can talk no. about it. Don't. 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 Come on out so we can figure out what's going on. We have an ambulance coming for her. I don't need no fucking. Too big. Uh, is, is that her sister? Like, and I'm talking about the stud. The ambulance. Y'all can cancel the shit. I don't need nothing. I don't need no fucking ambulance. I don't need no. That's her talking? Ain't nothing wrong with this woman, then. Cops, I don't need none of that shit. Like, y'all can fucking go here. Come on. Like, I'm sick and tired of y'all. This is we're getting calls from all over the country. We have to make sure All over the country. They're fucking fake. The calls are wrong fake. Explain to me what's going on. Who, me? Bro, I don't have to call. They're talking to y'all about nothing. Y'all know there's some stuff. 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 Y'all know no, like this shit is for what? No, bro, you can say whatever you want to say right here. And like, this shit, they are literally the this shit. What? People are always constantly calling the police on them, sending folks to the house, doing wellness checks, but the cops never take because Michelle always says nothing's going on. She's okay. Now Michelle's family want her to come home, but she oh, Michelle has a fam. <laughs> what the fuck? The stud is queen girlfriend. I, I know that. What I'm saying to y'all is 
who is uh what's her name chanel i, I thought the the sister that was well, the stud i thought that was her sister like how did they ever get in contact with her like she's okay she don't want to there's only so much the cops can do from me just going and digging and looking at stuff people are saying the girl got beat in the eye for eating some steak <laughs> and the stud is the one that beat her i don't know somebody said she was stealing money but my they all live together okay it's all for tiktok views and money you get paid on tiktok you get paid on big o i already used I michelle all i need to use her for I made her look like a fucking idiot on social media. I made her get a big ass money bag yo tattoo that she can't get removed. It's gonna be big as shit. Like I already made you like a fucking fool. I made you eat dog shit. I made you eat dog poop. I made you like like I, I like. Chose, what more can you do? I chose to do those things. I understand, but what more can you? What purpose can you serve me? Uh, mm, no. So that's what I'm saying. It's it's literally time to. Just move on. And plus, I don't want her negative energy around my daughter. Like, this bitch got she, a she baby on the way? She, happy. she don't give a fuck about the baby. You know, she just not happy what? about the baby. She don't care about it. So it's like, I, 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 I can't, like, it's, I don't need that negative energy around me and my daughter. Her having a baby is crazy. What? Daughter, okay? There will be no negative energy around me and baby viral, and that's just that. But, um,. Can I get everybody to send me a dollar on cash app? For the dumbass bitches in the comments saying leave, I'm not leaving till I get put out. And then for some more backstory. I'm not leaving till I get put out. What in the fuck is going on? That girl know what they doing to her. I think she's satisfied. Didn't she? You know one thing I learned in 2023. Don't save her. She don't want to be. Don't save her. I want to be. Don't save nobody. Unless niggas just really need to be saved. But when people don't want you to save them, believe them. Okay? We already have two babies already. Y'all talking to comments. Let's get this together. Then she already give one away. Gave one up for adoption. Oh, what? And now she got this one. This is just a lot. This is 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 a lot. Yeah, this shit is fucked up. Kelly is Queen Ops' friend, allegedly. But I ain't never seen no friend treat somebody the way that she has treated her all these years. I don't know, y'all. Tell me what you think. You think the shit. Girl, she is so bad that she like, I've humiliated you enough. You don't serve me no purpose. Get out. And she like, I ain't leave until you put me out. I just, <gasps> I just don't understand. Ooh, you think she's going to get up out of there? Or you think it's just going to. Don't y'all hate hiccups? I fucking hate hiccups. Be the way it is. If it ain't about me, let's <clears throat> keep eating this cake. Next one, okay? We got Carly Russell. Now, Carly. Carly, 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 Carly. You had the whole world rooting for you. You woke up and said, okay, how the hell can I send myself to jail? That's what you said. This don't make no mother... Hold on. Comments were saying she got like three other kids. She don't have custody of none of them. And her baby daddy got her pregnant again. And that's who she's pregnant by now? Fuck is it? You motherfucking thing. Yeah. Uh, Carly do need her motherfucking ass beat. Carly communicated on her cell phone with individuals known to her while in her path of travel up to the point of calling 911 at 9.34 p.m. And at this time, we will play the 911 call in its entirety. Hi, I am on Interstate 459, and there's just a kid just walking by their cell. Oh, hold on, hold on. Where, where am I supposed to stand? Are you? Um, um, I'm right next to the exit, exit 10 by the Summer Bank. Like, you get off by the Summer Bank? Okay, here, before the exit. Yes. Okay, and were you, you had a southbound or northbound? Okay, like, towards Tuscaloosa or 2880? Towards Tuscaloosa. Okay, and was the child on the left or right side? On the right side. Were they walking northbound or southbound? Um, they're walking towards Tuscaloosa. <coughs> walking southbound. Oh, how old do they look? Um, like a toddler, like maybe like three or four. Did you pull over with them? Are you still with them? Yes. Okay, you're, are you with the child right now? No, I'm not. I didn't get out of the car. I'm just, I, I can see them both. But. Can you, do you mind staying and keeping an eye on them until we get there? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, what kind of car are you in? I'm in a red Mercedes Benz. Is it a sedan or 
SUV. SUV. I mean, it's a, a, a sedan. Sorry. Can you put your hazards on for me? Yeah, they're on. Okay. Why would she do all that and really not see a child and bring the police to her? And then how the fuck did she go missing in the process of that? That this none of this makes sense. Did you talk to the child at all, or did you say anything to them? No. Okay. No. Do they look like they're injured? No, they don't. Are they white, black, or Hispanic, or Asian? They're white. Okay. Is a male or female? I think it's a boy, a little boy. Right now. Okay. So is he wearing clothes? Yes. Okay. What is he wearing? It's a white t-shirt, and it doesn't look like he has any pants on. It looks like a diaper. And you don't see any cars anywhere? No, no cars anywhere. Well, all right. Police took her and covered the real story up. Uh, to make Carly look a certain way. Okay. All right, what's your name? My name is Carly Russell. And you don't see any injuries on the child from where you're at, correct? No, no, but I can't really see them that good. I agree with that, Shakia. Okay, try Especially to, to get everybody's attention. attention. I don't want you to lose track of them. Um, okay. All right, and do they have shoes on? No. Uh, shoes? Nothing I can see. I can't really see that. What Okay. All right. I've got them on the way, okay? Just try to stay, keep an eye on them, but officers are on the way, okay? Okay, thanks. Thank you. But also, no, that's a woman named Carly. Now, she had told the police she saw a baby on the road, called him as you heard, and they abducted her, whatever the case may be, allegedly. Now, what made it fishy, you know, we weren't really thinking because we're like, oh my God, it's a black woman, let's find her, because, you know, they don't ever try to find the black women. They don't right. ever make it a spotlight, nothing like that, but for some damn reason, this one did. And it, it, we didn't look at the fact that the wig was left. A lot of y'all black women glue y'all wigs on securely. But her wig was left. Her phone was left. Her Apple Watch was left. Girl. But your snacks was gone. She started when she got out of her vehicle to check on the child. A man came out of the trees. Have y'all seen um, cloning Tyrone? Or whatever the fuck? Bitch. Stop looking at this and go look at that and come back and look at this again. And y'all going to feel like, oh, shit. Maybe this is cat. He was checking on the baby. Y'all got to go watch the man that. Then picked her up and she screamed. She stated he then made her go over a fence. She claims he then forced her into a car. And the next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18 wheeler. She stated that the male was with a female. However, she never saw the female only hearing her voice. She also told detectives Netflix. she could hear a baby crying. She told detectives the male had orange hair with a big bald spot on the back. She said she was able to escape the 18-wheeler and fled on foot. Child, I'm over this. Again and this bitch done sat in the fucking woods with a burner phone to call her friend and said, come pick me the fuck up. Bitch, I oughta slap. <laughs> Do you believe that there's an abductor still out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. NBC News has reached out to the Hoover Police Department to ask whether they're looking for an individual involved. Police have just said they're following up on all information provided by Carly. And when I talked to you all on Saturday, you also said your daughter is a fighter and she would find a way back to you. I felt that in my heart. Is that what happened? She did. She found her way back to us. However, we can't discuss the details of that. But they say one thing is what is clear. Do you believe she was fighting for her life? Oh, she definitely fought for her life. There were moments when she physically had to fight for her life, and there were moments when she had to mentally fight for her life. No. And then I had the parents come out here. Something ain't right. Physically fight for her life, Gail. Yeah, when she slipped and fell in them damn woods and was fucking running the fuck home, she had to physically fight. And then ah, uh, I see what you're saying, Mike. Mentally fight when she sat in them fucking woods and had to sit here and say, "Oh my goddamn gosh, uh -uh. the world know." So she had to mentally fight for her fucking life and figure out how the hell she was gonna clean this if shit there's... up. Ain't no way, Dad is sitting right there so fucking calm. You know what, Mom and Daddy knew. They they didn't know at the beginning. I don't feel, 
But I feel mom and daddy knew when she came home. And that's why mama was speaking in the context she was speaking in. My thing is, this Something right. boyfriend, if you see this, please take her back. Because it's obvious that she'll go above and beyond for you. And baby, that's an A for effort. And why are they saying this over the boyfriend? Hey, they broke up or something? Back. That I have talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Carly Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Cardi to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on he her behalf. He was going to break up with her? There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did the not. The boyfriend cheated on her with a stripper. That's a real thing. Leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We What's ask up? for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting. I mean, how do we even know that's the lawyer? Scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. Now, you got the other folks on the curb who are saying that um, the cops and them did this shit on purpose to hide up that other stuff that's going on in the world with them, uh, with the folks that's missing. And they want to make a mockery out of the black folks so we don't pay attention to what's really going on. Because why would y'all pick this finally, this one black person out of all the black women that's been missing? But right. But you pick this one black person who was the... So the baby and funny Marco, I don't know if funny Marco is copywriting. So I'm going to put that on my Patreon. For those that don't know, I have a Patreon to react to things that, that you want me to react to that's copyrighted. And I'm reacting to things that you specifically want me to react to. I'm about to put my Patreon in the pinned comment. Y'all tap in. A liar. I'm posting uh, several videos tonight. And that, because you know we'll cover this up. I'm going to pop off for a minute. I'm going to pop off for a minute and it's probably going to offend a lot of people. I think that's my job. You know, okay. it's all tied together. I don't know how, but I'm sure if you follow the money, you'll figure it out. It's all tied together. It's crazy how they, meaning the powers that be, that run everything, can have us distracted all the while we think we're paying attention. Mm. Let's go. Do you know the same week that movie came out? That movie where a whole bunch of white men go and save a whole bunch of children that don't look like us, then turn around and traffic them because that's exactly what the fuck happens. Mm. The same movie, the same week that movie came out, a black woman goes missing. She better talk her shit. And a 14-year-old girl that is indigenous is found at the barracks of Camp Pendleton after being sold to a Marine. But y'all didn't hear about that. You didn't need to because the movie and Carly kept you distracted. You don't think... That Carly was chosen specifically. Wait, wait. It was a movie that came out about saving a bunch of black kids and then trafficking them. I don't even want to watch that three, shit. Four hundred black women that went missing that week alone. Why her? Why her? Oh wow! Black women never make it to the mainstream media when they go missing, and they go missing every single day. Well, if you think about it, POC, because that's what white people like to refer to as people of color, black, brown, and indigenous people, are just a monolith. So if we can have everybody distracted by this movie, which is all QAnon, and a black woman gone missing who is now being made out to be a liar, mm. then all we have to do is perpetuate the conditioning that we've already embedded in everybody in America, KKK, that black women lie. Therefore, every person of color lies black, brown, and indigenous person, POC, because that's what we refer to them as. So if we hear stories where people that do not look like us are telling us I like Queen <laughs> where they've been taken, things are going wrong, we're not going to listen. Because look what Carly did. Look what Carly did. So a movie comes out. Damn. Black woman goes missing. She gets 
mainstream media time, at the very same time a 14-year-old indigenous girl is found trafficked to a Marine, at the very same time 103 indigenous children are dug up under a residential school in Nebraska. What the fuck? All the while this is going on, thousands of black, brown, and indigenous people are going missing, but nobody cares because Carly's a liar. It's all tied together. And now nobody gives a shit about none of that because Jason Aldean done put out a dog whistle video. No, he didn't. Trust me, I'm a whole entire white person. If you can see it, it wasn't a dog whistle video. All distracted in it, though, aren't you? Poof. Damn. Black, brown, and indigenous women don't matter anymore. Exactly. Now they can go on and traffic them. So, child, I don't know. They always say the world is a stage play. I think the world is a stage play. I don't think everything is a conspiracy, but I will say this story don't sound like it could. It don't sound like it's cap. It could be cap, but it don't sound like it's cap. Y'all take it how you want to take it. Believe what you want to believe. But some ain't right. I think they in cahoots with the government and these were some paid actors to do what they supposed to do. And it worked. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. All right. Yeah, they went looking for her because it was a white child too. That's all I have for Messy Monday. I was Damn. Like Listen. We're going to go ahead and go to the next video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.